Installation. Inspect all materials for defects prior to installation. Dig and measure the appropriate tank size. Allow for an extra 6 to 12 inches of space around the tank. Maximum depth of bury for a standard septic tank is 24 inches from top of the tank to finish grade. Our AIO tank series can be buried up to 48 inches from top of the tank to the finished grade. Dump 6 to 12 inches of gravel mixture in the bottom of the hole and level. Note, never place the tank directly on rocks. If rocks are present, then place at least 12 inches of sand in the excavated hole and level the tank. Carefully lower the tank into the center of the hole and move the tank back and forth to settle the tank in the gravel mixture. Use 3 8 inch to 3 4 inch of gravel type aggregate. Level the tank before removing the straps in case further extraction is needed. Note, direction of flow. The inlet is higher than the outlet. Install the riser if used at this time. If you're located in an area with a high water table, then start the addition of water and add approximately one foot more gravel mixture around the base of the tank. Continue to add the water at the same rate as the aggregate backfill material. Continue the backfill with gravel mixture up to the top of the tank. Compact backfill under inlet and outlet pipe. Note, if free-flowing clay soil is being used for backfill, then you must fill the tank with water at the same rate as the backfill. Install cover at this time. Backfill the finished grade with loose topsoil. Mound the topsoil over the septic tank to provide positive drainage away from the tank. This will also help to allow for the soil to settle. For an affluent filter installation, see pages 17 through 19 of the Septic Installation Manual. To maintain your septic tank, 1. Ensure that your plumbing and fixtures are in working order with no leaks. Be sure to inspect faucets, commodes, sinks, bathtubs, water softeners, washing machines, garbage disposals, water filter systems, sump pumps, etc. 2. Inspect the septic piping for breakage, crimping or cracks. A good indicator of this is if the soil around the site is saturated. Note, never drive a vehicle over your septic piping or system under any circumstances. 3. Inspect the tank for any kind of damage. Cracks, dents and bends are an indication that a septic tank may be failing. Note the amount of waste in the tank. Look for foreign materials such as rubber products, sanitary napkins, or any objects that may have entered the system. 4. Inspect the distribution box and drain field for signs of damage. Usually, without running a camera down the system, the only way to tell is if the lawn is saturated or sunken. Please use extreme caution if you're going to inspect a system yourself. If you feel uncomfortable about dealing with poisonous, volatile gases or harmful microbes, then it is best to leave the procedures to your local wastewater professionals.